Hello, welcome to Digital Learning. I'm Connie Colosi, Director of Media, Text, and Digital Learning. In our show today, we are going to be learning and watching a, some very interesting technology that teachers have available to them um, called Digital Linking and also a program called Doceri. And I have with me today Alex Hernan. Alex um, is our newest member of the um, digital learning community um, and working as a technology integration coordinator. Alex, so um, tell us a little bit about yourself and your background and what brought you here. Well, thanks for having me. Uh, I spent years and years and years in the classroom. I taught math and then to uh, spent five years teaching math and started teaching business education, taught computer science, uh, aspects, components, stuff like that, and uh, I use Doceri and stuff, digital linking, remote desktop features, things like that, all the time, and it was fantastic. I used it quite a bit. So you taught middle school math? I taught middle school math, yeah. So what are some common struggles that a middle school math teacher has? Oh, well, where do I start? It's uh, a long list, I, but I would say one of the biggest struggles, especially depending, because middle school, Middle school is a whole different kind of creature. Yeah. Uh, and what one of the biggest struggles is is classroom management. Being able to find those kids in the back of the room who are having side conversations, who are maybe not all the way on task, and just kind of just have your presence there next to them to redirect them, make them aware that you're aware of what they're doing. Um, that's one of the biggest benefits of being able to get away from that whiteboard in front of the room, stopping that stage on the stage and start walking around and, and being able to present and teach while being around the room. So the classic scenario is the teacher standing at the board with their back to the class and uh, doing the math problems and then heaven only knows what's happening behind their back. Yeah. No one knows what's going on <laughs> behind their back, exactly. All right. So and Desiri gives us an opportunity to uh, uh, get to the back of the classroom. Right, and that's what I used it for. So it turns an iPad and it's also available for Windows 10 devices with uh, touchscreens. Um, it turns it into essentially a mobile whiteboard. So I can control my computer as I walk around the room. I can draw on my computer as I walk around the room. I can pre-build uh, pre presentations and videos uh, to show the students with specific places where it stops for me to add my own instruction or add interject uh, new concepts or things like that into it. And you can do all this from the iPad connected to the computer while being anywhere on the same network. All right. So is it, um, is, is it complicated to learn how to use? It's pretty easy. Um, in fact, it's as easy as using a whiteboard if you think about just getting started in drawing. Um, I can show, and I want to make sure that it's easy to see here. Well, I can start by connecting to my computer and this is my computer, my iPad. I've hooked it up to my computer just to demonstrate some of the stuff that it can do. But let's put up a whiteboard. Let's, what, what, give me a color, pick a color. Um, I like green. All right, let's go with green. We'll pick a green background. So uh, paper construction green. And hopefully, you can see we've got a green background here. Okay. So all I have to do, and you can't see it on there. I'm not sure if I can hold this up for you to see. But you've got all the different kinds of drawing tools that you would have on any sort of drawing application, Microsoft Paint, um, anything like that. It's very, very similar. So it's stuff people have already seen. So I can tap this button. And I'll say, you know, and then you can also correct that now. Does not equal nine. And as I draw, the strokes are coming up on my whiteboard. So this isn't connected wired at all, I can walk around the classroom and do this same sort of thing. Um, outside of the basic tools, like just whiteboarding like this, it also saves every single stroke. So let's say I didn't want to actually use the number nine. I can go back, change that, and let's say, I want to put the actual correct answer here. It does that without having to delete any of the other things. So all the other stuff, that all the other strokes that I put in there are all still there. So this is really powerful if you're trying to create a video. Um, you would use this same kind of setup to record a video in the application. And you can go back and kind of set it up the way exactly the way you want it to look um, when you're done. So 
have, have you used Doceri a lot before? I really haven't. I, I'm, I'm pretty much a novice at Doceri. So this is a great example. This is a yes. great opportunity to kind of show some of the stuff it can do. Um, give me a scenario where you might, might think it might be useful in the classroom or what, something you might uh, want to know about how Doceri can work. I'm a language arts teacher, actually, mm -hmm. and um, you know, so we might have a text in front of us, and I may want to be in a situation where we would be marking that text, and I would want to show the students how to mark the text that we're reading and how to make annotations. It just so happens I'm prepared for this scenario. It might have it might have come up before. So one of the cool things about this program is you can put pictures in to this, and you can take a picture. So you could take a picture of student work right there. Um, I have a picture already from my photo library, so I can select it, delete all that stuff, and I'm going to go ahead and zoom in on this so we can see a little bit better. So if you're reading in classroom, okay, you take a picture, you'd have to have a picture of whatever it is you wanted prepared. And then you can go through and pick different colors and highlight things. You can mark important information. You can draw on it. All the same stuff you'd be able to do on a whiteboard, but the benefit is it's digital and you don't have to be in the classroom you know, or in front of the classroom explaining it. You can be walking around. You can have students interact with it. You can put the, the iPad in front of a student, have them practice marking it. Another example of that would be, let's say you have all of the students trying to mark their own text. And you want to keep them accountable. You want to make sure, like we were saying before, that the kids are engaged, that they're doing what they're supposed to be doing. Well, you say beforehand, hey, well, I'm going to pick someone at random and put their work up on the board and everyone's going to see it. Well, now all the kids are sitting there going, oh, geez, well, I don't want to put my, have my work put up there and it not be, not be good. So you come over, you uh, go over to that student, and we're just going to take st stick your hand out for me, because we don't have any text here, so we're going to, beautiful, we're going to retake that where it's not out of focus. The beautiful thing about uh, tech demos is that they always work, right, when you're trying to do them live on camera. So we're going to go to new slide, paste it. And so if this was, say, a student's work instead of a hand, we don't have any paper here. We're going off script. If we had a script, I could take a picture of the script. Everyone can see what you're marking on there. So I can draw on their work, show, correct, instantly. And it's, it's fantastic. You don't have to be in front of the room. So all she did, you walk up, you take a picture of the student work. Yep. And now the, that student's work is up on the board. Yep. And then you're able to... Uh, continue teaching, use an example. You can mark, you can draw. This is great. I was a math teacher. Mm -hmm. I was showing this to a bunch of math teachers the other day. They love this because you can get very, very precise. So let's make a new slide here and let's say we're going to do it with uh, uh, something more mathy. We're going to do a graphing background. We want to have very, very precise uh, angles. Okay. So this is perfect for that sort of thing. And so is this uh, a screen or a template that's actually built into the Doceri application. This is a background that's built into the Doceri application. You can also create your own custom backgrounds. So if you're a math teacher, you're going to be teaching the same topic for two or three weeks at a time. You might use the same picture of a right triangle or the same graph or the same coordinate plane over and over and over again every day. You can custom make a custom graph and just use that background over and over again. But what's nice about this is you get a level of precision because you can zoom in. And you know what? I'm, like I said, I'm a math guy. So I'm looking at this right here. I'm saying that's a little bit off. I don't like how precise it is. I'm going to zoom in even more and get that right on the dot. You can see it's perfect. Now, from there, this will actually snap to uh, specific angles. So I'm going to go up to that right there. And you can make it snap to be a 90 degree angle. So now you've got an exact 90 degree angle. This other angle is going to be 30 degrees. And I've got a perfect 30, 60, 90 triangle. Um, and so this is great. For math, you can build something like this. I've got this triangle made. Now maybe I want to change the background. Let's put it on something like the chalkboard. And now you've got that triangle mathematically correct, which is important to teachers. 
So how would a teacher go about getting um, access to this uh, dossier? Well, the iPad app is free. So you go to the App Store and you just download the app. And you can do a lot of the same stuff without having to be connected to the computer. So if you're taking your iPad home and you want to prepare a lesson beforehand, you can just take the iPad, do all this stuff, and then broadcast it up. The software on the computer, the host software, um, Pinellas County Schools has paid for. And so you would go to the eLearn site. You would go to eLearn.pcsb.org. And in the search, you search for Doceri, D-O-C-E-R-I. There's only one thing there, Doceri for iPads. You click on that, and all the instructions to download it and to register it using the registration key that the district has already paid for is all there. And so for a teacher, this is all already paid for. This is all free for them. So just sitting out there to be used. Alex, we're going to take a quick break. And when we come back, we're going to talk about some other digital ink opportunities for teachers. Awesome.